Hello everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez and this is the Weekly Report, a look at news from the City of Kansas City, Missouri. The city received a $30 million grant last week from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. This investment in the urban core will replace the Shoto Courts Public Housing Complex. Once again, Kansas City has come out on top in a competitive environment with a $30 million choice grant from HUD to totally transform Shoto Court. These are important stepping stones to bringing people up to a level of inclusion and engagement that they currently do not enjoy. In addition, the city will be a recipient of a grant that helps bridge the digital divide by providing internet connections for low-income residents. Uh, the way the world is operating now, uh, if you're poor and you're not online, your prospects of getting a job will decline. So this is the time that uh, we're going to be able to help the people who need the jobs the most uh, to uh, be able to access uh, computers. Adobe Creative has recognized the city's Art of Data exhibit at its annual Public Sector Awards. Art of Data was honored for representing a unique visual perspective on the data that drives decisions and improvements in the city. The project embodied the spirit of a cross-channel campaign and brought people together to view data using a non-traditional platform. Adobe honors public sector agencies annually for their creativity and use of design to engage citizens. Congratulations to our own Jose Gonzalez, who leads the City Communications graphic design team. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Heidi Downer with Kansas City Parks and Recreation. October in the city is filled with activities. Here's a sampling of fun things to do. The public is invited to view a gallery of juried paintings from the Brush Creek Art Walk at the Anita B. Gorman Discovery Center at 4750 Troost Avenue. The display is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. through the month of October, and most of the artwork is for sale. For more information or to view the paintings online, visit caseyparks.org. For a limited time, you can save $150 on an all-access pass to Casey Parks Community Centers. All-access passes are good at all 10 Kansas City Parks and Recreation Community Centers and include fitness centers, open gym, public ice skating, open swim, and select classes. From now through October 17th, annual adult passes are $200 and annual senior passes are $100. Visit a community center or purchase online at kcparks.org today. KC Parks celebrates Locktober on the Old Red Bridge on Saturday, October 17th. The fun starts at 11 a.m. with a ribbon cutting for the new Minor Park Connector Trail. Bike, walk, or skate down the one mile length of trail with friends and family, and then head over to the Old Red Bridge for complimentary refreshments and fun fall crafts. Of course, don't forget to bring your love locks to add to the ever growing collection on the bridge. For details, visit caseyparks.org. On October 31st, from 2 to 4 p.m., visit the Lime Creek Community Center for Spooky Skate, a Halloween party on ice. Wear your costume and get free admission. Skate rental is $2. Enjoy spooky treats and activities, including carnival games, a photo booth, and more. For more information about these and other events, visit the Parks and Recreation website at kcparks.org or give us a call at 816-513-7500. I'm Laura Ish, I'm the Water Quality Educator for the Kansas City Water Services Department and we're here today at the Royals game playing Stormwater Plinko to help teach kids and adults that storm drains lead to creek streams and rivers in most of Kansas City and in most of the nation. So here today they're trying to get their trash into either the recycle bin or the trash can in our Plinko game so that they can keep from polluting our rivers. We're also out here promoting our street sweepers because Clean streets equal clean storm drains, which equal less flooding and cleaner rivers and better water quality.
the thing about Tech Week that's really nice is you get to find people who are just like us, who don't have any grounding, and then you have other people who have taken their product and elevated it. And a lot of people like to share their stories. And a lot of people are giving me their card, told me that I can contact them after the fact. You know, it's it's something that you kind of can't get off the line. Like you can Google anything, but you can't really Google experience that somebody else has had. And that's really awesome. Uh, I've never heard about it before. This is my first time in the States. Um, my knowledge about the States was, uh, and in particular about the startup scene was, you know, Silicon Valley, maybe New York. Kansas City does have an amazing amount of talent here um, and support for people to come from the coast here. It's getting together, brilliant minds, supporting each other, and letting the nation know that we are uh, a tech force to be reckoned with here in Kansas City. Missouri, a state where mighty rivers meet and forests grow tall, where our most basic resources provide natural health, recreational wealth, and economic strength. At the Missouri Department of Conservation, we work with and for you to keep the outdoors healthy. Conservation helps people discover nature. You care. We serve. It pays. Conservation. The city recently hosted three citizen work sessions for residents to learn more about the city budget and to provide input on how city funds should be allocated. After presentations about city departments, residents took their shot at creating a city budget. Citizens then faced the camera to provide personal testimony that city council members will see later as they work to develop the annual city budget. Well, I'm Troy Schulte, City Manager for Kansas City, Missouri, and on behalf of the city, I'd like to thank you all for taking the time out of your busy schedules to participate in our citizen budget workshops. These processes, these, your ideas, your suggestions, your willingness to go on camera and tell us how we can make the city better are vitally important as we build the city of tomorrow. So on behalf of the city of Kansas City, thank you. We're, we look forward to your, your efforts in the future and can't thank you enough for the work you provided for us today. Thank you. Kansas City's Smart City Project includes 25 interactive kiosks along and around the Casey Streetcar Line. The kiosks will provide digital content about local businesses, art, entertainment, the streetcar line, and it will enable residents to interact with city services. 13 will be placed at streetcar stops, and right now you can vote on the location of the 12 others. Tell us where you would like to see the kiosks by going to caseymomentum.org. To view this program again or other Channel 2 videos, go to kcmo.gov and search Channel 2. That page has a link to our YouTube channel and a Channel 2 program guide. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.